cups with just a little left over. I need to make a pie crust for my pie. Since a sweet potato pie is a single crust pie, I'm going to make a crust using one cup of flour. This is the wheat flour that I can get in the village from the general store. The exact amount isn't critical. One cup of flour, add a dash of salt, about a quarter teaspoon, and mix it very, very well. Then you add cooking oil. The amount is variable. The important thing about the cooking oil is that you want the dough to be crumbly, but not clumpy. Then you add as little water as you can to make the dough smooth. You don't want to make it elastic, and when you blend the dough, you want to blend as little as possible. You don't want the dough to develop gluten, because then it will spring back. You want it to be able to spread out when you roll it. So this is a good start. The dough is starting to pull away from the sides of the bowl. I may need a little more water. It's hard to work the water in at this stage. So I'm going to have to use my hands. To roll out the dough, I don't have a counter, so I use my cutting board. For a rolling pin, I use this water bottle that I got from the UNIO Credit Union. You can just use your one liter Nalgene bottle, which every Peace Corps volunteer has. This dough is very oily, so it usually doesn't stick to the board. I seem to be lucky today, but this batch is rolling out very nicely. The pan I use for a pie pan is just a regular village straight-sided aluminum pan. Because it's straight-sided, it's a little difficult to get the pie crust into the pan. It requires some mashing. It's kind of like when you made a ashtray out of clay in second grade. Try to center the dough in the pan, and then it's just a matter of using your fingers to pull it up the sides. The more elastic the dough is, the more it will pull back down, which is very frustrating. You want it to go up the sides about two inches, because that's how much pie filling you need. If you didn't center the dough perfectly, which I never do, you may need to cut a piece from one side and tack it to the other side. A rather boring process. I'll come back when it's done. Okay, 